All right, I'm going to answer a two-part question here. First of all, <laughs> number one, Pat, everybody's asking me, Pat, what, what's up with the cool shades uh, during the video? Well, it's actually, they're not cool shades. They're actually uh, computer glasses, you know, to stop all them crazy rays and stuff and a lot of eye strain. Because uh, some days I have to sit in front of this thing for a couple hours at a time and it affects your eyesight. So that's what they are. And even during this video, um, uh, uh, many times I'm sitting right here looking at the camera and I'm also looking at the computer screen. Okay, so that's what this is for. But let's go ahead and answer this question. All right. How can I get my prayers answered, Pastor Dow? Well, I think the first thing we need to understand in this question right here is this. First thing you need to understand is that there are things and we have to be honest with ourselves. There are things that are going on in our lives that are, is just not correct and not right. And if we are missing Yah in any one of these points, he won't hear me. In other words, we have to meet his conditions. Once we meet his conditions, then he will hear us. That's what that's for, and that's what that's about, okay? All right. So let's go over a few things. The reason why the Most High Yah doesn't answer your prayers so that you can get your prayers answered. All right? All right. Number one, unrepented sin in your life. Yeah. I mean, if there are things that you have going on in your life, especially personal issues and things, and, and they're totally unresolved, you know that they do not meet the biblical conditions, then the Father's not going to hear you. As a matter of fact, he says in Psalm 66, 18, if I regard iniquity in my heart, then the Most High will not hear me. So you can't expect to be sending up prayers and you've got sin in your life, unresolved sin, and you expect him to answer. He's not a hypocrite. He's not like that. You will meet his conditions if you want your prayers answered. Um, all right, what's the next one? Number two. Well, here, here's the big ones right here. Offended. Hmm. Offended. You know, there are many, many things that people will do uh, to offend you. And you could be offended. Are right, you following me? But Matthew 5, 23 says, Therefore, when you bring your gift to the altar and there remembers that your brother have ought against you, leave your gift at the altar or before the altar, go thy way and first be reconciled to thy brother and then come and offer your gift. You know, there, there are uh, people that you have personally offended, period, point blank. And you need to get that right before you come to the Father. And most of us, we're so arrogant, we're so prideful, um, we're so egotistical and offended that we act like we haven't done anything. And the truth is, you need to be sensitive towards your brothers and sisters to see if you have caused some type of an offense. See if it's legit. Because if it's legit, and you're so-called think you're praying to the Father, he ain't gonna hear you. Period. Um, and that's could be another reason why your prayers are not getting answered. Um, how about if others have offended you? Hmm? That's number three, others that offend you. When people offend you, and, and see, I know that this, this, this makes us seem like we are a victim because we are a victim of somebody else's injustice. But listen to me very closely. You know, this whole design of offense right here is to get you to not meet y'all's conditions. Because many times we insulate and we protect ourselves from the hurt, harm, and danger of others. And so sometimes we have to build up these walls in order to protect ourselves. But at the same time, watch this. If you know someone has offended you, and yet and still, you are the one that is bitter. You're the one that is angry. You know, even when you see them, you hear their name. You, you, you get angry and upset. If you are the one that's carrying malice, and ill will in your heart, and you know it. You can most of the time you can tell by your response. You can tell by what stirs up inside of you. You have to be honest with yourself, because if you're not honest with yourself, there's another hindrance to prayer right there. Because people will do things to offend you. Period. Point blank. And of course, the enemy is just trying to trick you to receive that offense. Huh. Well, 
Hey, no. well, what else? What else could it be? Um, let's go on there a little bit more. Uh, let's touch on a very sensitive one right here. Conflicts in the marriage. If you have a bunch of marital conflicts going on in your house, going on in your home, you can be sure that the Most High will not hear you. See, we've already done outlined and named a bunch of things right here so far. It's explaining to you why your prayers are not getting answered. And most of you, your prayers just ain't going no higher than the ceiling. The sound is poop hitting the ceiling and it's bouncing right back down to you. I mean, um, 1 Peter 3, 7 says, Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them according to the knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel, and as being heirs together of the grace of life that your prayers be not hindered. Many times, wives, they they the weaker vessel. They go off on the deep end. And, and then the, the men, they go about the wrong way trying to obtain peace in the, in the house rather than bringing down the hammer, bringing the, the correction, um, uh, and making sure that, that the wife meets his conditions because there's all this stuff where, where I'm mad at you and you mad at me and we I'm going to go pray, you go pray. You're wasting your time. You're literally wasting your time. A house divided is just simply not going to stand. And too many times, more often than not, we have too many offended wives, foolish women, that tear up and pluck down houses. There's all this to it. All right. Well, um, what else? How about asking for the wrong things with the wrong motives? Many times we try to deceive others that when we're asking for things, we're, or we're asking the Father for things, we're asking Him for the right motives when really, truly in our heart, we have something else. And we can't hide from the most high. We simply can't hide from the most high. James 4, 2 says, you lust and you have not. You kill and you desire to have and you cannot obtain. You fight and war, yet you have not because when you, you ask not. And you ask, you receive not because you ask a miss that you may consume it up on your own lust. I'm sorry, the most high, y'all, y'all is just not an ignorant God. I'm sorry, he's just not. He's not the ignorant uh, person that most people think that he is. He's just not going to put up with our nonsense and our foolishness. He has prescribed conditions, and they're laid out. And if we meet his conditions, then he will hear our prayers and answer. But too, uh, too many times, again, more often than not, what happens? We're right in our own eyes. We continue to keep on. We'll do this for years. We'll keep on praying in years and never have ever a change of heart, a change of mind, or change of spirit, period. Our heart will just simply will not change because every man in this generation seems like they have the issue, trouble, and problem of doing that, which is right in their own eyes. So, hey, I just laid it out for you, the reason why your prayers are not getting answered. It makes no difference to me whether you receive it, reject it. It makes no difference to me. It makes no difference to me. Mine are getting answered, but, hey, I hope yours are getting answered. Glory to the King. I hope I help you. This is Pastor Dow. Hey, I'm the straight way truth. See, I took my glasses off when I'm not, I'm, I'm finished looking at the computer screen so you can see my big eyes. Ooh. I hope your prayers get answered. Glory to the King.